I said to him, look old boy, when you're next in the area, come and see me, come and have a noggin. And he said, that's a very good idea, I'll do that. Well, I didn't hear anything for several months. And then one morning the telephone rang, early, and it was him. And he said, I'm in the area and I'd like to come and see you. And I said, that's a very good idea. Come and have a noggin. And he said, I'll do that. <laughs> well, it was very convenient, actually. I had nothing on in the diary. And only the day before, I had purchased an interesting bottle of gin, which I was keen to tap. So we arranged that he would come at 12 midday, sharp. And I spent the rest of the morning getting ready for his arrival. I put everything on ice, the gin, the vermouth, the two martini glasses, and I took from the fridge a lemon and a jar of olives. And by five to twelve I was all set to go. But he didn't show up. And at twenty past twelve I decided to have just the one He never came, and I learnt later that he'd been killed in a motor accident on his way to see me. What? Thank God it wasn't after seeing me.